Welcome back, West Texas. Let's talk the latest in sports. Now, the very best Lady Falcons basketball team season came to an end over the weekend, but they still have plenty to be proud of. Our Damian Bartonic has more. The very best Lady Falcons season came to an end on Saturday evening. Despite the loss, this group of seniors are proud of the work they accomplished. Disappointed, but there's still a lot to be proud of. I mean, we made it to the regional tournament three out of four years of being in high school. And even to be able to say we made it to state one time, a lot of people can't even say that. So I'm still proud of the hard work we've put in. I think that that made a statement for very best, but I feel like we left a mark. What made this season special beyond their accomplishments of reaching the regional finals was the family-oriented culture that was implemented on day one of the offseason. I think that was a huge key to our success, if you want to know the truth of it. Uh, I, I, I don't know any other way to coach myself. That's the way I've always coached. The families don't always get along. I mean, there's moments where you got to work it out and fix it, but then that just makes you stronger for later on. Now, head coach Tom Briley in particular is a man that may not fit the mold of your typical basketball coach in his area boots and shiny belt buckle, but he has embraced these young ladies as members of his family. Without Tom, we wouldn't be here today. Like, he coached us ever since we were little in third grade and he's been here for us anytime we needed him and not just as a coach but as a person we can look up to him yeah he's very encouraging he's always there for us now with their sights set on what is next from beginning track season to moving into their college dorm rooms the statement this 2022-23 squad made is one that future generations of lady falcons hoops will remember absolutely if you look at the the, the what them kids have done especially in four years volleyball and basketball there, I don't know there's another team in the state that's done near that. Yes, I definitely think so. All the younger girls have always looked up to us. We've set the bar high, and they know what they need to achieve. Especially as us leaving, they'll have to step into the roles that we had. Now, the Lady Falcons may not have had that fairy tale ending that they were all hoping for, but they made their community very proud. Clearly, they came here not to take part, but to take over, and certainly in 2023, their goals will be even higher. Amy and Bartonic, Fox West, Texas. Oh, splash. <laughs> All righty, West Texas. Well, let's go over to the Erion County girls basketball team. They took on the Huckabay Indians this morning in the state championship game. However, they fell short 35 to 47, ending their season at 22 and 6 overall. Now let's talk college hoops, okay? The Angelo State women's basketball team hit the court today in Frisco for the first round of the Lone Star Conference Tournament. Now the Rambells took care of business, okay? As you can see, West Texas, that final score was 70 to 62. Sawyer Lloyd led all scores with 23 points, and the team shot a combined 46% from the field. They was balling today, huh? Yeah, I think so, okay? Now the Bells will now move on to the semifinals where they will face UT Tyler. Let's take a look at the Bells' reaction after the game. <laughs> All right, West Texas. Hey, go ahead, Bells. I see y'all, but that would do it in sports. Of course, I got some more coming up for you later in the show. Stick around. More news coming your way after the break.